Hey, I know the M9 and Breda 92 series pistols are already very easy to shoot, but do you want no recoil? I'm talking a professional advantage here. This compensator on this pistol is easy to shoot as a 22. i I'll tell you, professional shooters and competitors use compensators every time they're allowed because it really works. It's a real advantage. I'm Alan Griffith, the owner and sole proprietor of GriffithGuns.net. Let me show you my compensators. Our compensator attaches to an extended guide rod included in the kit. It gets alignment off the barrel and the frame, so you don't have to worry about hand fitting or threading. I've already hand fit each one myself. And I left a little bit of wiggle room where it's important to make sure this will fit on as many Berettas as possible. Now, a threaded compensator could take a day, maybe even a week if you're busy, to hand fit if it will fit. Uh, this one, it takes five minutes to install it yourself. All you need is a couple wrenches. That's it. I'll show you right now. The GG92 comp fits on a variety of Beretta 92 series pistols. Just to demonstrate, I'm going to be putting it on this old 92S. We start by removing the original guide rod. Keep the same spring. You don't need a new one. Use the new extended guide rod that's included in the kit. Slip on the new comp and add the bolt. Thread it on with a standard quarter inch Allen wrench. Once it starts to tighten up, you have to hold the guide rod in place or else it'll start to spin. Put the slide back on and it's done. This install clocked in at 57 seconds, just under a minute. No permanent modifications required. I designed this compensator because there was none on the market that were good enough and cheap enough. All the other ones needed hand fitting, which requires the work of a professional, which I am, but it's just not cost efficient to hand fit a Beretta compensator for every pistol I want to use on a professional level. Now, if I did thread a compensator on here, it would cost probably twice as much money and time as it did to get a compensator like this. I'll explain why in a minute. Other companies expect you to hand fit a threaded compensator yourself after buying a separate threaded barrel. That's $200 minimum. A good compensator after that would cost at least $300 $350. That would be at least $500 if you don't do all the precision work yourself, which might cost expensive machinery that most people don't have. Now, if you ship it off to a smith like me to do it, you're looking at at least $100. That's before shipping costs. And who knows how much it would cost you if you had issues with packages being damaged, lost, stolen. Imagine your $500 compensator gets stolen. What if a gunsmith like me holds on to your comp for three months because he's busy. You want to deal with that? No, you don't. You want me throwing your compensator around my shop? No. You want me smoking cigarettes on your compensator? Be blowing smoke on your compensator, throwing it around because I'm mad. Now, porting. There's only two ports on top. Why is there only ports on top? Well, it's not a muzzle brake. A muzzle brake ports gas out to the sides and backwards. So it's pulling your gun forwards. Now, a pistol doesn't have that much gas, so it wouldn't really help much. The issue with the pistol is not it kicking back. It doesn't have a whole lot of kick. The problem is it going up. So, I put two extra large ports on the top to port as much gas as possible straight up to keep your gun on target as best as possible. Now, here's another neat feature of my compensator, which does not apply to other compensators. It also functions as a standoff device. Now, what's a standoff device? When you press a semi-automatic pistol against the target, it will not fire. Now, I know it doesn't seem like a big deal. No one would willingly press your gun against a target, but shit happens. Now, here's a little anecdote. One of my friends told me about this cop 
maybe he was in my county. I can't remember. But anyways, this cop was stuffing a guy in the back of the squad car. The guy had a pistol the cop didn't know about. The guy drew his pistol, put it against the cop's vest, and it didn't fire. At the same time, the cop drew his pistol, put it against the suspect, pulled the trigger, and didn't fire. Now, I can't say what happened after that, but the point is, shit happens. You never know. Standard Beretta, no compensator, nothing. My Beretta with my compensator works every time. Again, I'm Alan Griffith. Thank y'all so much for watching. My website is griffithguns.net. Many people have argued that this type of compensator does not effectively port gas. They say it's just a slide weight. This is untrue. I'm going to leave a clip so y'all can see the proof for yourself. <laughs>